Uh, most of these stingrays, they do still have their barbs attached. Barbs are located along the tail, about a third of the way down. It sits in a recessed groove, points towards the back of the stingray. What you do not want to do is pretend hand on the tail, run your hand from the back towards the front. If you do that, you'll run your hand into the barb. It can be sharp and pointy. So that is something that I recommend not doing. Other than that, there's not much you need to worry about with them. They'll be swimming around you. You can touch them. The top side feels a little rough. Underside, very soft, very smooth. We do have food available. You're welcome to feed them. Basically what you want to do is feed them. You make a fist, your thumb, keep your thumb tucked inside. If you're holding food like that with your thumb sticking out, yep. the chances are when it gets the food, it's going to get your thumb as well. Right. If it happens to bite you, it's not a big deal. They do not have teeth. They have bony plates that they use to grind their food. So if it gets you, it's really just a bit of a pinch. That said, when I'm given the choice between being pinched or not being pinched, I will almost always go with the option of not being pinched. So a thumb, I keep it tucked away nice and safe. Hold the food by as small as you can, which the smallest piece that you can, majority sticking out. Hand in the water, extend away from you, bend at the elbow. This whole area here open and beneath the water. Stingray will swim over it, it'll get the food, it'll suck the food right out of your hand. The closer you are to myself, Catherine, in that big bucket, the more stingrays you will have around you. If you're nervous, if you're a little afraid of them, simply move away from the food, and the stingrays will leave you alone. Any questions? Okay, as we mentioned, Catherine's going to be in there taking some photos of you guys. She does wonderful photos. You're not obligated to buy anything. So go ahead, let her take some shots. So you done, you can feel it. Alright guys, cool. you don't mind, you're done with the pictures. It's uh, just in the, the bag over there. Yeah, she's one of our faves. I was really upset yeah, when, I heard that, when I saw that she got hit. Yeah. She got hit by a boat about two or three weeks ago. Yeah. They're tough. They are. They, um, you know the guy Mark is? Okay, he was out here yesterday doing a survey. Yep. yep. He's the guy I, I took pictures and videos and emailed the pictures to him. And he then forwarded them to the uh, Department of Environment. We're supposed to. It, it's a bit of a free fall, unfortunately. It's also very delicate, so if you kick it with your fins, chances are you're going to cause damage to it. Please do not kick the coral. coral. Definitely do not stand on the coral. There is nowhere out here that you're able to stand. If you need to stand up to adjust your mask or anything like that, please come to the back of the boat and stand on the ladders. <coughs> Even if it looks like it's just sand or like rock or something, there's things trying to live in the sand, things trying to grow on the rocks. So the area I want you to stay in is right over there by the back of the boat. Please do not take off for a marathon swim heading that way. Don't go for a marathon swim that way. Do not go over the sharp pointy rocks to get, you know, the shallow pointy rocks to get to the uh, open ocean on the other side. Just stick around here nice and close where I can keep an eye on you. Um, masks are in this blue bucket over here. Fins are going to be down below in that hatch. I'll, sir, yes. take it seriously, please. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, masks are in the blue bucket. Fins are going to be down below in the, in the hatch. I'll be going down there. Just uh, yell your shoe size down there and I'll hand up the appropriate size fins. Fins first, I'd appreciate that because then I can come above deck and I can assist with other things. If anybody is not comfortable in the water, we do have various flotation devices. We have uh, rings, we have belts, we have these uh, fun needles here, and we have snorkel vests. So if you need something floaty to keep you above water, speak to myself or Catherine. 